Hello, this is Panico Badge, and welcome back to yet another episode of the Curious Expedition 2. We are in between good stuff and bad stuff. We're trying to retrieve some treasure. We don't know where it is. I mean, I, I tell a lie. I'm just, I'm just having a look at the map. I think we're going there, but th that's fine. We won't, we won't let that sort of mire what we're doing, which is essentially looting and killing as much as we can to get as much fame as we can one thing i haven't tried yet though which i was thinking of in between recording episodes is this old uh, film wheel the kinetogram as i believe it's called we haven't tried taking pictures of any animals so i don't really want to think of myself as a, a you know a sort of oldie schooly david attenborough or, or the like and uh well let's face it snakes are pretty naughty at the best of times uh but it's it's interesting to maybe try and use that to take a picture and see how it gets on but before we do all that as you can see we have no sanity gaining apparatus on us we've also killed off every human on the map with the silence curse from the last shrine we went to so hopefully this is going to be something useful or else we're boogered uh, uh, so i'm kind of putting one egg in one basket here hoping for the best oh dear in the wilderness, it was nearly impossible to prevent an injury. That is fine, because I've just clocked a spring. Huzzah! We reached a place of outstanding natural splendor. The water tasted salty, with steam gently rising from its surface. I decided it would be a good idea to rest here. This was the edge of despair. It was difficult to ignite the fire, depressingly so. I caught Cornelius nervously pacing around camp. He seemed to have misplaced a book and wanted me to help find it. Doing so would probably cost some time. You know what? I am fine with that, Cornelius. Hey, we found your book. Don't worry. It was underneath your, your sleeping bit. We spent several days searching the area, finally discovering the missing item sunk in a shallow pond. Or you threw it in the water. Either or, you know. Plus 15 sanitae. I'll take that. We're no longer covered in tar either, which is nice. The rest of the day had... M oh, sorry, again. The days of rest had made... My aches and pains vanish as if by magic. Delicate steam laced the water's shimmering surface. I think we'll be making our home around here. Uh, that evening I noticed Lieutenant Gibbs sitting apart from the trek looking glum. Cornelius took a seat nearby asking what was wrong. I tried to keep a polite distance but couldn't help overhearing their conversation. Lieutenant Gibbs was holding an old photograph in his hands and I saw that it was a picture of a little girl, presumably his daughter. He wistfully explained that his daughter had asked him to bring a native trinket back home. Cornelius commiserated, mentioned his own child. Looking into the distance, he swore they would both make it through this expedition, if only for the sake of the children. If only you just said that before I killed the entire population of the island. <laughs> then maybe we could have found uh, a, a naked, a naked, a native tr trinket of something or other. Maybe, possibly. Uh, we're going to rest again, though. Lieutenant Gibbs and Cornelius were getting closer to each other every day. It was good to see the spirit of companionship in the expedition. They collected colourful stones during our travels and intended to craft something with them. From what I understood, it would be some sort of wristband to symbolise their friendship. A short time later, they were proudly displaying their new bracelets, seeming quite content. They gifted me their unused stones, which would surely prove to be useful in the days ahead. Yes. I guess so. Possibly. I mean, we've got nobody to trade with, but that's fine. The days of rest have made my aches and pains vanish. Awesome. Well, we're definitely going to be coming back here. Uh, I kind of want to kind of want to see what's around here. I want to sort of stay away from the Beastmaster if I can. So we're coming from this direction. A tomb and a beast shaman. You know what? Let's do it. Hyenas. That's fine. We'll deal with them. Ooh, ooh. Okay, let's do a quick re-roll. We're going to hope for the green. That's a bit awkward, but never mind. So what's that? 23. And then... Oh, it kind of wastes it, which is annoying. So if I did that... And that... I 
and that. 49. Yeah, it'd be a waste at this point. Uh, we just want eight. Can anything hit for eight? You can hit for eight. Uh, let's throw you out. So I'll need to you. Can we kill for 20? Looking for a kill for 20. Uh, six, five. That's uh, just under. So let's do you and you. You. 31. Can we get, can we squeeze 20 out of this? I don't think we can, can we? 19, of course. What about the other way around? Yeah, I'll do that. Cool, so he'll be dead after he's hit us. So just a be shame to deal with. Righty. That's pretty tidy. Let's see what else we get. Oh, that's very tidy. You, you, and you. That's fine. I'll take it. Um, da -da -da, 13 and 18. 13 and 18. So you, you, and you. And you, and you. Sit down. Oh, lovely. We'll take it all. We'll take it all. And we shall eat the meat. And then approach the tomb. A, a, can a cavernous hole into the dark was barely visible among the dunes. Who knew what lurked within? I know what lurked within. It's a tomb. I descended into the tomb. Mankind had, uh, man Mankind had not set foot here for hundreds of years. There was a stone sarcophagus in the center of the small chamber. Take it all. Right, so we're a little bit injured, so let's travel back. And get the old springs on the go. Just a quick rest. Lieutenant Gibbs and Cornelius were telling stories around the campfire that sounded delightfully dark. I decided to join them. Lieutenant Gibbs' story was of a father kept awake by his young boys crying. The constant wailing drove him mad until he finally dug the boy up to silence him once and for all. Ooh. Next up, Cornelius told of a blind woman waiting for her sailor husband's return. For when he came, she did not need eyes to know the thing that entered was no longer human. The story's over, they told me. I now had to choose which was the scariest. I was happy to oblige uh, the wailing child. Definitely. Definitely. Babies. Oh, they're scary. Babies cries. Not good. Not good. Right, so we're fully healed. Everyone's happy. Let's go and see what this is. It is the cave. Don't we don't want to be doing the monster's lair just yet? We've got the question mark here. I suggest we go and have a look, see, see what it is. Try and avoid the abomination as much as possible. Unless he wants a fight. Ah, the village. The village. I mean, we can go there. There's, no, there's going to be nothing there, apart from some abominations, I would suspect. The village was utterly empty. It seemed long forgotten. I wonder it was still standing. I searched but didn't find anything of use. Yes. Uh, let's pop ourselves up onto here. Go to this question mark first. Waste of time. Go back to that one over here. And then hopefully we're going to have enough to get us back to the cave. I approached what seemed to be a sacred burial ground of the locals. I felt an uneasy shiver run down my spine. I'd heard stories of the consequences of disturbing sacred ground. Well, let's uh, give it a whirl, shall we? Oh, only just... Oh, it's another mummy. Right, so da -da 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 can we get back to the cave? Yes, we can. And we will be avoiding the abomination 
unless he wants to make something of it. Cool. Let's do it. I approached the mouth of the cave trepida trepidatiously, not sure what to expect. Bones littered the area and a foul bestial scent filled my nostrils. The treasure of the legend awaited inside, but first I would have to get past the Guardian or convince the locals to help me out. Uh, well, we're going to light a torch, that's for sure. Stealing my nerves, I lit a torch and crept inside the lair of the beast. The stench grew stronger as I proceeded into the bowels of the cave, and it wasn't long before I saw the outline of a great beast. In the dim light, I saw the glint of treasure behind the creature. It seemed the legends were true. We can steal it quietly? We can't. Let's attack. Bringing a trophy of the great thing would provide the proof that I had come here to find. Immune to what? Stuns. And it's going to lay spider eggs. And that's, is that what it's going to do? Because that, that's fine by me. That is fine by me. Mm, not the best of rolls. A little bit better. A little bit better. Right, so. What are we going to do? I'm going to hit him hard. Hit him quick. Hit him with the candlestick. There we go. Almost half health straight away. So uh, let's roll. Lots of reds there. A lot, a lot of reds. Let's see what we get. Nothing. Right, so. Uh, damage of 15, and there's going to lay a spider egg too. We're probably best going to take care of these spider eggs. So what is that? That's enough for that. And that as well. Then lay your egg. Oh yeah, hit me and lay your egg. What are you doing next time? Same again. Ooh. Here we roll. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So if we did you, you and you. That's 49. Thirty-one. No way around this is a. I'm gonna have to use them all. Let's take you down. Go for you. And a big one of you. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Best we could do. Ow. And another egg. Not a bad roll. Let's throw in the big ones again. You never know. You never know. Hey. So let's throw a heal onto you. Let's hit you, big, big. Uh, da, 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 da. Eight. Seven. Twelve with bleeding. 11. Right, so you, you. Nineteen. Born bleeds. Yeah, you guys. Oh, we did it anyway. Cool. Oh, it's another spider. Who'd have thought? Kick, kick, kick. Boom. Give me your meats, give me your spider legs. The guardian was slain and the treasure was mine for the taking. I could not wait to see it in the rightful place in the Museum of Lux Labs back home. A jeweled scepter. Cool. We did it. 
Da 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 da. So nine tickets for just being awesome. I didn't take any pictures. Bloody hell, I'm terrible. I'm terrible at that. <sighs> nah, we should have had more than that. We should have had more than that. That's my bad. Oh! Transporter module. One, use once to place a specially calibrated anchor point. Use a second time to teleport to the anchor. Oh, if you want to get away from something. That's pretty cool. You can't get too far away, though. It's only a 30-day uh, duration. So that is pretty cool. Uh, indigenous habits. No. Mountaineer. Mm, I do like that. Strong mind. Ooh. I do like climbing the hills, so we'll do that. The city was buzzing with rumours that Annie Oakley had learned Maiden's location and was on her way to find her. Oh. I snorted with disbelief when I heard this nonsense. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Peppa Pig recently. Oakley's only talents were bullying and spite. The only thing she might find in the islands was her death. Yes. Right, so. We've got stuff to spend. And what are we going to spend it on? We have a meat cleaver. A shotgun. How's that gun looking? We can upgrade it now, can't we? Maximum health. A luxury saddle. Yeah, it's quite expensive though. Yeah. No thanks. No thanks. We're just going to upgrade stuff, I think. So, gun. A die. I'll take that. What be left? Uh, we've got uh, you. Not too fussed. What are you? Four. You don't do anything. You've got four as well. Nine. Eleven. Eleven. None with the blue, though. That's the thing. None with the blue. I suppose we go, should go towards the green after that, then. I believe there's a few tickets to play with. There's not a lot we can do with those tickets, but... A-ho. Never mind. Uh, right, so now we're just ranked up. I guess we'll be... I'm back on with the Tai Chi Academy to get them up to number 11. So let's join the competition with them. Awesome. We're looking for mushrooms, you know. And uh, I think we're done. I think we are done. I mean, we're coming up to sort of just below 20 minutes. Do, do we call it a short one today and start fresh next time? I think that's probably be for the best. So we shall leave it there. Thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I shall see you on the next one. Take it easy.